All right, everybody, this is Artifact Man. Got a few things I want to show you all today. Uh, I want to give uh, Butch Jonesy a shout out. But uh, got several points to go through. I don't remember if I showed you all this uh, pottery bowl. Got the authenticity paper, Pim Scott County, Missouri. I believe that bowl is uh, pictured in a pottery book. I know I've showed this axe a long time ago, but uh, it's the third time I've owned this axe. I traded back for it again. Very, very cool axe. Does have a little bit of damage. But look how high them flares are on that. Tapers back right there on both sides. Just a cool little axe. Picked this up the other day, about threw it out. <clears throat> Work bone tool. I scoped it pretty heavy and uh, it's worked all the way around. Polished off. Found it on the same bar with a piece of pottery and this piece of. Uh, Red ochre, very cool. Jones, you ever seen any quartz like that? Purple, pretty cool purple quartz. Uh, nice little uh, Lake Superior agate. Picked it up the other day too when I was out hunting. Uh, oops. Got a nice little uh, bifurcated heavy duty ground, heavily patinated. If it just focus a little better, very nice point. A little hard niche point, it's tapered back ground on the bottom pretty decent little blade that's gonna go in my man cave Santa Fe print probably from the 20s or teens but anyway uh, now for some of this stuff heavily river stained polished I wish I had a better light in here. Real good workmanship on it. Nice point. I'll just take him out and lay him there. Maybe that'll work. Real nice. I like those. That's one of my favorite styles. Grim Caves, Hemp Hills, Osceolas. But my favorite these right here check this bad boy out auriculated nebo nice and thick like a nebo should be quartz you can see all the way through this thing if you get some bright light behind it she just glows in the dark this thing is beautiful love this piece the only uh, nebo I've ever seen like it quartz see-through very nice piece. Here's another nice uh, hemp hill. Basically ground. Basically thinned. Just a beauty. This Dalton is killer. Check this Dalton out. It's a fluted Dalton, heavily ground, heavily creek stained, minor, minor flea bite on the tip, super thin, and this thing is a beauty. Look at them big old teeth on there. I think I've showed this before, man, I love that point. Love it, love it, love it. That thing is a wicked beauty. Love it. 
and this is one cool left hand bevel may have been a St. Charles or a dovetail the base appears to have been anciently dinked on the corners and they just re-napped them in on a, at an angle on both sides or they may have made it that way I don't know but I love that piece nice little curve to the blade it's nice 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 uh, really nice Lerma blade ground does have a little flea bite right there that base is nice and ground made really good it's like a chert quartz mix and it's quartzy you get in the sun and it'll sparkle a little bit but it has like a mixture it feels like a quartz and chert mix I don't know I find that stuff once in a while here's a nice thin one she's thin little little beveling on it nice transverse flaking ground don't know what type of point that is but uh, I really like it that's a nice point nice little blade really nice little knife uh, here's another Nebo my favorite they are a little crude and can be a little thick in the middle but that's the nature of an Ebo and they're one of my favorite points I know they're a little ugly some people don't think much of them but I really like a good Nebo point and they can get long they can get up to six seven inches long nice Nebo love that point I love them all <laughs> Look at the lightning strikes in this thing. Look at that. Man, that's a nice Nebo. Another nice Nebo. Like I say, they're a little thick in the middle. But they're one of my favorite points. Distribution on them isn't that wide. And we just happen to live in the heart of that distribution. Nebo Hills like 45 minutes from here. I really love that. Here's another nice little Nebo. This one here, Nebos aren't usually ground, but this one is ground to there. Uh, and once in a while you'll pick up a Nebo that's ground, thick in the middle like a Nebo should be. Pink, patinated white over. When that was wet, that thing was pink, pink, with big red blotch in it. Blotching in it. Now it's kind of turned to like they all do when they come out of the, they oxidize pretty bad when you get them out of the water or ground. Let me check this bad boy out. Thin. Very nice Stanfield knife. Does have a little bit of base damage. Lightly ground. That's a nice point. We love that little blade. I mean, heck, I'm up to a, well, there's a, almost a case there. Okay, I picked these up yesterday. Couldn't pass them up. These are very neat. I think they're Mayan, Mayan bowls. Look like a sun motif with swans or pelicans or something on them very neat and in situ pick 19 1973 or something like that I read it. got the writing and stuff where they come from and everything sitting on a giant grinding bowl why they X'd out the little figurine between the two pots, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Somebody, whoever owned these before me, marked out that. But that's those two bowls. And they come from there. 
July 16th, 1974. Paperwork signed. Very neat. And I didn't give nothing for them. I mean, they were very cheap. I couldn't pass them up. Uh, my wife actually got those for me for my Valentine's Day. Thank you. Thank you, honey. And I showed you the axe, and that's about it, guys. Uh, man cave's going to go down there. So when it gets finished, I'll take you all on a tour of my man cave. I got a lot of ideas, and we'll see how far they go I get with it. Everybody get out there and find a smoker. Later.